Okay, stop. I am going to get way ahead of you on this. I know. I need a haircut. And you thought I was gonna say something about this dope ass shirt. I just need to decide what haircut would suit me the best. The Pogba, the Vidal, the Ramsey, or the De Gea. Decisions, decisions. Also, check out my decisions on your new favorite show that used to be on my channel, but now I'm bringing it back called Cool, Not Cool. Cool, Pepe. The love him or hate him defender is up for UEFA's best player in Europe award. So a couple of things on this. One, I'll admit that I'm not the biggest fan of how Pepe plays the game, but he was very impressive in the Euros and in the Champions League final, and I love when a defender is being recognized for an award that's usually given to an attacking player. Two, I don't know if you guys have seen the list or not, I'm gonna pop it up right now, but how does a player from Leicester not be involved in the final 10 here? But, oh, wait, hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Sorry Leicester, you can't get in, you just performed a miracle and did something we might never ever see again in our lifetimes, but Tony Cruz has gotta get in. Yeah, Tony Cruz has gotta get there. And then how about Thomas Muller over Robert Lev Lewandowski. How is that possible? Robert Lewandowski set the record for the most Bundesliga goals in a season in the first time in like a gajillion years, and Thomas Moore can't score in the Euros. Not cool. Leicester City. The Vardy party is over. N'Golo Kante, the glue to your unbelievable run to the title last season, has been sold. You guys sold him to another club in blue, the Chelsea Football Club, which makes you the Didier Deschamps of clubs. You guys believe that you can win a trophy without Conte in your team, and you're wrong. However, based on that superior logic, that means that Chelsea is gonna win the Premier League next season because they have Conte in their team, so congrats, guys. Cool, not cool. Arsenal. The cool Arsene Wenger appears as though he's finally going to sign a big time striker. Gonzalo Higuain, Mario Icardi, or Alexander Lacazette, anyone? Which will hopefully, hopefully help the Gunners remain as possible title contenders since all the teams around them are either adding big time managers and or big time players. It's gonna be tough this season. The not cool, or Wenger won't sign anyone, as is his tendency at times, just so he can sit on his throne of having more money in his treasure chest than any other club in the Premier League, which which means the supporters are gonna lose their mind, which means you're gonna finish third or fourth and get knocked out of the round of 16 in the Champions League. Again. Cool! The Portland Timbers. After enduring some inconsistency throughout this MLS season, which in some ways was always gonna be the case because it's never easy being the defending champions when everybody's gunning for you, the Timbers walked into this game finally healthy and they were playing against their bitter rivals, the Seattle Sounders, and they walked away with a resounding 3-1 win and their best performance of the season. So we'll see what they can do from here. Also, Seattle is in trouble. They aren't as they once were and something's missing. Not cool, the leg of Demba Ba. In the 70th minute of the Shanghai Derby, between Shanghai SIPG and Shanghai Shenhua, where Ba has scored 14 goals in 18 games this season, the former Newcastle and Chelsea striker suffered a very nasty leg break, which his manager said was so bad, he might have to end his career at the age of 31. So here's hoping that the advances in modern technology help him come back stronger than before. Cool! Irving Lozano. Two and a half years after making his professional debut at the age of 18 for Pachuca, the speedy winger helped the club win the Apertura last season. And this Clausura season in Liga MA Keys, which just started this past weekend, he scored two goals and notched an assist in a big win against Lyon, which has many claiming that he has already outgrown the Mexican league and he should look to play elsewhere. So keep an eye on him. Not cool. Colorado Rapids. They easily have the best defense in the league. It is not even close, and that was before Tim Howard showed up. Now that the Bearded Wonder is there, they are going to be an unstoppable force. The not cool part about this, however, is that they don't have one defender represented in the recently named roster for the MLS All-Star team, and those All-Stars are taking on Arsenal on July 28th, that's a Thursday, in San Jose, California. And that's where I am right now, so that's really, really cool because I'm going to be there, and I want you guys to come too. I have two tickets to give away. I haven't decided the details of how you can win those, but I wanna give you enough time to get here. So if you can figure out a way to get to this part of the world, two tickets are yours. And even if you win them and you can't come, maybe you have friends in the area, I mean, I just wanna make this as positive as possible. So keep it tuned in here to this channel or my social media channels, Twitter, Snap, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff and you'll know the details, you'll know how to win, and it's gonna be a lot of fun and, and hopefully provide you guys with a life-changing experience because that's how I roll. I just wanna do good things for you guys. Cool, not cool, me. The cool, I'm in a picture on ESPN's website which links to an article about US soccer's golden generation. As if you guys had any doubts. The not cool, 
I actually wasn't named in the article as part of the golden generation. It's pretty much everyone else in that picture but me, which is fine. I honestly do not deserve to be named. I was more of a little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Than the super talented player. So I completely get it. But you guys should go read this article. It's a very good dissertation and breakdown of development in this country and where we were and where we are and where we're headed. All right, that's it. That is all I got. So let me know your thoughts on what's cool and what's not cool and stay tuned for more info on how to win two tickets to the MLS All-Star Game. Also, I know you love this shirt. Later.